2015 all level examination fourth question to qualify an examination candidates have to pass one compulsory subject s1 and one of the three optional subject s2 s3 and s4 which of the following is the represent this uh, scenario now we know that s1 should be passed so that is one condition and the other condition one of the three subjects given s2 s3 s4 which means when you have optional or you have to select one of them we know that you have to use o gates so it should be s2 o s3 o s4 so in that particular case you have to combine using and right the question answer is the second one next one is which of the following octal numbers is equal to decimal 79 right octal number into 79 so we know that uh, the first one is 1 8 and 64 64 Then 128. So the four numbers is incorrect. So this one and this one is incorrect anyway. Right? And then we know that 64 into 7 is a big number. This is 1 to 8. Yes, 1. This is 8. 8 to the power 1. This is 64. 64 in 7. So this is bigger. So the answer is the first one. Easily you can pick it up this. You don't have to solve this actually. Which of the following formats are used to used in computers to store data? The best answer is binary. Because what computer understand is the two states, which means we can use ones and zero. Right? So it should be binary. Then for compact representation, we will use uh, octal and hexadecimal. Which of the following decimal numbers is equal to binary number this? Yes, we have one, two, three, one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. When you have numbers like this, you can you easily get uh, 65, isn't it? 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. So when you have 32 and 31, so this is 63. Subtract. This is eight, so you will get 55. What I did is I actually assume that everything is one. All the numbers are one, then subtract eight, because this is eight, right? So you have 32, 32 plus 31, it's 63. So subtract eight from 63, we'll get 55. Okay, we have to create the values in ascending order, right? So we know that uh, we will have 1 and 16, then we will have 16 to 60. So this is not that, uh, this is a very, a very small number, right, compared to the others. So exactly you will get 32 plus 15. We will get the number. So this is the smallest one. So that's enough for you to understand. This is enough to understand because we know that this is the biggest number. So answer should be one or two. So when you check the values, right? So you don't have to check for all the other numbers by checking the one value you can get the answer. Question number nine. Uh, so we have given uh, 4 GB capacity and 
how many we can put so that you will get the least amount of space. So you know that uh, you had put the biggest one first. So when you put three gigabytes, four minus three means one gigabyte. One gigabyte means we know 1024. So you can't put both A and B. So which means you go for the bigger one. So that means B. So B and C is the answer. Then question number 10, the following labeled activity from A to H are included in the system development life cycle. So we have given set of numbers. This is actually a bit of uh, different from what we have discussed. This is uh, all syllabus. So the answer should be three. We have not looked at uh, in very detail like this, uh, but these are the phases. Right. Question number 12. So what are the things you need to access uh, the internet? Right. So can you just type it and uh, send it to me? What are the things you need to connect to an internet? So you need a device, modem or router, an internet connection, internet service provider to connect to the internet. The next one is when you put the computer in the internet, you get a unique address. And we will use a special name for this address. What is it? Yes, Lasindo. good. So it should be IP address, right? which actually use computers to computers to communicate to each other. And then can you say any file? Any file can be attached to email if it does not exist a maximum file size that is allowed to be attached an email. So is there a, a the limit? Yes, in Gmail, for example, you cannot uh, exit some value. If I remember correct, it's 25 megabytes. If you try to insert something more than 25 megabytes, uh, you have to attach it separately. Maybe you had to use Google Drive. So that year, actually there were two answers given because sometimes uh, you can't attach, you know, if the file contain viruses. So C is partially correct. So because of that, that time to uh, they have uh, given marks for two answers. That is first one as the fourth one. Right. Let's move to the next one. What are the file extensions? Right. So when you use open office, uh, that is free and open source, we will get uh, extension ODT. In Microsoft Word, new version, we have DOCX, an older version, 2003 and earlier, you will get DOC. Then RTF, when you represent uh, something in WordPad, which is very similar to Word, you will get RTF. Everything, all these file extensions used in word processing software. Right, the answer should be fourth one. Fourth is not easy, it will uh, use underline and italics. Which of the following icons word processing software can be used to search for text document? Can you name this all the four in the chat? I want everyone to uh, uh, recognize the icons given in question number 15. So what are the symbols? Chaturya.
Yes. What is the first one? The symbols in word processing. Yes. This is word, this is not uh, chimp. So don't confuse with this uh, chimp notations. This is slightly different. Yes, so the what we have seen there is the first one is format painter. We have format painter and then cut. We have show and hide. This is to uh, show non printable characters. So this is format painter, this is cut, this is show hide. Basically you can show and hide non-printable characters and this is for search. Okay, question number 16. Consider the following sentences related to the presentation software. Slide transitions are visual moments as one slide changes to another. Then we have, uh, that's correct, isn't it? So giving a visual moment from one slide to another, we call side transition, that's correct. 
and animations have visual effects applied to individual items on the slide. So if you remember there, when you want to move, we individually move them. We define the start and the end, and then uh, computer will generate the frames. What is the name we use uh, for the frames generated by the computers? Anyone? We will use special name. Right, the animations we did, we specify the start, then we specify the end. In between, computer uh, generates it. My question is, we will use a special name for those, the slides developed by the computer. What is it called? Tharaka? First one, when we start and end, we create what we call the keyframes. The frames we create between two keyframes automatically by computers are known as, yes, wish me. Yes, what do you call it? That's Hindu. You mean the when computer generates intermediate frames, we use a special name for them. What is it? Yes, we call tween frames. So you can have key frames, you can have blank frames, and the what computer generates based on two start and end positions, creating intermediate slides is called a transition. We use tween we call they are called twin frames. Okay, so nobody actually answers that question. Kind of strange. Right then, uh, formula to uh, write in A five that you already know. So that's max. And when you use the count. What is the formula to use the number of entries cell by J1 to B4? That's we call count. So the next one is a formula 2 to the 5 plus 16, 2 to the 5 means 32, 32 plus 16, that is 48. Question number 20 you have given HTML statements. We have a descriptive list descriptions this is description title and this is data so no symbols are used in descriptive le uh, le uh, lists so three and four is out it's a matter of uh, selecting one and two and you know that when you have dt and dd so that dd goes inside the dt Okay, that's uh, question number 20. Question number 25 is a good one. It's about the tables and how we can arrange tables. So you will see there are T, uh, four TRs, which means you have to have four rows. So 
So you had to have four rows, which means answers two and four is out. And we know that Gunaratna, we have TD, two TDs in the first row after name and telephone number. So which means uh, it should be the 103. And Gunaratna, you have only one number, isn't it? The row span to actually start with uh, Somasundaram, which means the answer should be the third one. Question number 22, which of the following HTML tag combinations allowed to add a row in a table? So definitely we know adding a row, you start with TR. Okay, next one, which of the following HTML tag combines the, is used to display number list? Right, so that is ordered list. So the answer is the first one. Question number 24. Yes, this I will explain uh, after this break. I will give you about five minutes and I'll come back and wait until uh, that time. <laughs> 